I'm a film critic, so I had to see Happy Death Day. You guys are not film critics, so you don't have to see Happy Death Day. And I would highly recommend that you do not watch Happy Death Day. Uh, that should be in my review. Cut, cut. No, just kidding, just kidding. Guys, Happy Death Day, and on, on a serious note, Happy Death Day uh, follows the story of a young woman who wakes up in a bed, a dorm room bed, and she doesn't know why she's there. She wakes up, uh, she just goes about her normal routine of a college girl, and then there's a party, and then she gets killed. Repeat, repeat, repeat. It happens over and over again in the film. You basically have to figure out who the killer is. Well, so, let me just first start off with the positives. Hmm. The main actress is good, I guess. For most of the film, she's very unlikable, though, so that's just it. It's like, wait, I'm supposed to care about this girl? She's, she's not even likable. Um... But that's really all I can think about. The rest of the film, it's a choppy, uh, poorly, uh, unoriginal mess of a film with one of the worst twists I've seen in quite some time. Like, it, it made no sense whatsoever, and it helped the movie, it, it helped further cement the movie being just garbage. Like, the twists made no sense. Uh, the motives behind the, the villain also were just like, <laughs> What? So illogical and stupid. I I really don't say stupid that often, but this was this was this film was very very stupid. And and frankly, it angers me that this was the number one film in America this week uh, over Blade Runner twenty forty nine, which is an intellectual film. But at the same time, I guess I can understand Happy Death Day. It's appealing to teens. It's a horror film that's PG thirteen and accessible to teens. Also, some of the worst dialogue I've seen in quite some time. Uh, it, it's like Transformers 5 level bad dialogue almost. Except the difference is, this film's dialogue is like... It, some of it is very memorable with just how bad it is. If you've seen the film, you know what I'm talking about. And that's the thing, I'm not going to spoil anything, even though I really just want to ruin the whole film. But I'm not going to, because I'm a critic, and, and I'm a good one at that, in that I don't spoil things. So... All I'm going to say is this film really frustrated me. And if you want to find out why it frustrated me, by all means, go see it. Uh, but just let me know why why you would do that. This film is just... It hurts me with how bad it is. It hurts me that this is the type of film that people have accepted nowadays as uh, a quality film. Like, the reviews weren't bad either on Rotten Tomatoes and, like, other sites. I just don't understand. I, I really don't. The filmmaking is awful behind this. The entertainment value is non-existent. I actually checked my phone halfway through the film, and I never do that. I, like, never, ever do that, because I, I am a, I am polite. I shot off my phone with the movie, but this film, I was honestly, like, 96 minutes up yet? And I literally checked my phone, I was like, oh, shoot, no, I still got, like, half an hour left. I was like, this is, this is tedious. You guys... Please don't waste your time in Happy Death Day. Really, it, filmmaking perspective, it's awful. Critical perspective, it's awful. Entertainment perspective, it's just awful. Acting, dialogue, pacing, length, acting, overacting, I should say, awful. Half a star out of five is what I would be giving Happy Death Day. Again, half a star, 0 0.5. Not five out of five, 0 0.5 out of five stars. Please, avoid at all costs. But if you guys have seen Happy Death Day, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, don't forget that subscribe button. And I will catch you guys sooner than later.